convicted molester sentenced to 45 years to life. This is Brother Gilbert Simmental. He molested two little girls. He confessed to the elders. He was repentant. They just handled the matter and thought that would be the end. When he was arrested, the prosecutor asked two of the elders on the committee to testify about his confession. Elders John Vaughn and Andrew C. Ney refused to testify when they were subpoenaed by Prosecutor Stronsky. They cited the confidentiality afforded by the penitent clergy privilege. Prior to the trial, the case broke new legal ground in California about when statements made to clergy members are deemed confidential. This case makes a bold statement to any religious organization that we are not going to allow you to abuse confidentiality privileges in order to suppress the confessions of child molesters. The stakes are way too high. Elders John Vaughn and Andrew C. Ney balked at testifying against Simmental when subpoenaed by Strunsky. They cited the confidentiality afforded by the penitent clergy privilege. Dickerson ordered them to testify after finding the Jehovah's Witnesses Judicial Committee system is not designed to keep information confidential. As a result, the penitent clergy privilege does not apply since state law protects statements made to clergy members who are required by their faith's practices to keep them secret. Dickerson said he was compelled to impose the harshest penalty given the pain defendant Gilbert Simmental inflicted on the girls and the peril he would pose to children if released. Jehovah's Witnesses have no clergy class. They even teach that the clergy of Christendom is the man of sin mentioned in the Bible. The clergy is vilified and witnesses despise them, yet when it comes to public exposure of their own failed policies they hide under the clergy's skirt. Do you think janitors and window washers are qualified to counsel mentally ill criminals? Can they adequately protect the flock when they will not expose who has been accused of these crimes? Who were these two elders protecting? It wasn't the victims in this crime. It was the Watchtower Society and themselves. Can you feel the love?